Hey guys, Josiah here from Swim Decaters at thinkorswim.net. Um, wanted to do a video, kind of follow up to the patterns video on um, specifically how to make your own candlestick pattern in Thinkorswim. So uh, Thinkorswim has the pattern recognition engine uh, that will, you know, find um, the, the the classic, uh, you know, technical analysis patterns like descending triangles and double bottoms and that type of thing, and then they also have the um, candlestick patterns, a whole list of candlestick patterns that are available in Thinkorswim, um, and so you can uh, use any of those that you want just by going in here to the patterns menu and adding any of them to the chart here that you want, the classic patterns or the candlestick patterns. Uh, you can uh, add all those to the chart and uh, you know see if you can use those. But uh, one of the coolest features that I think Thinkorswim has here is the fact that you can create your own custom uh, candlestick patterns. And so I'm going to show you how to do that just uh, real generally here. And so in the patterns menu, make sure show patterns is checked first and then go into select patterns and go over to candlestick and the sub sub tab here and click create and so there's uh, this is your kind of wizard that helps you generate these patterns automatically and what it's doing in the background is creating think script that's uh, a think script condition it's basically saying if this condition is true then plot a, you know a, a notice on the chart to, to tell the trader that the, this condition has become true on the chart. And so it, it writes all the think script for you in the background and uh, uh, goes ahead and applies it to the chart kind of like an indicator. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to give it a name. I will call it a micro double bottom. And I already have one, so uh, I'm just going to add 2.0 here or something, uh, version 2. And I'm going to say up arrow uh, and color it green. Uh, so when this condition becomes true, it's going to plot an up arrow at the bottom of the candle. And it's going to color that arrow green to let me know that the, the condition has been true. Now you can see here there's a tab for condition wizard and think script editor. So you can actually write your own code, uh, but uh, this is the think script that it generates. Uh, automatically from the condition wizard. So what you do to start here is click it, click the plus and you tell it what you want to add. So what I want to add here is a descending trend. So what this is saying is if the trend has been going down for five candles, if it's been descending, uh, then this condition is true now. Then I want it to ha also have a uh, down candle and I'm going to add an up candle another down candle and finally an up candle um, now I want the um, let's see I want to make the high of this candle less than the open of this candle And I want to make the um, low of this candle less than the open of the prior candle. Uh, so you see here, you basically you have these individual price points, the high H, the open O, the uh, close, which is C, and the low, which is L. Uh, and you can manipulate these prices and give these diff create these different conditions any way you like. Um, so I've, you just click a price and drag it to the next candle, any, any price on the other candle, and it will pop up a menu telling you, do you want this to be greater than, equal to, not equal, near, that type of thing. So you can create all kinds of different um, uh, logic here and uh, have it recognize uh, lots of different uh, unique conditions for candle formations. 
So, uh, and then I want to say, finally, um, what do I want this to do? Um, we'll just say close greater than the open of this. And we'll see if this does anything, I don't know. Um, so let's hit apply, let's see if we find anything. I don't think it found anything immediately here. Just look back through my chart. Let's make it a little bit uh, less strict here. Whoops. So I'm going to right click on it and click edit, not edit properties. Edit properties will change the settings, take you to this uh, customizing uh, thing, but it won't let you edit the actual pattern. If I right click and select edit, then it will let me um, uh, change the actual pattern. So I just deleted that condition. Let's see if that does anything for us. Yeah, so you can see here we've got uh, a downward trend for five bars. We got one down candle followed by an up candle that is less than the high of this one. Um, oh, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at this wrong. So we've got a down candle, up candle that's less than the high of this one, then another down candle that breaks the low of that, and then uh, a green candle uh, going back up. And this actually nailed the bottom. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, then we've got another similar situation here. We've got a downtrend for five bars, a down bar, up bar that doesn't exceed the high of this one, a down bar that does break the low, and then another up bar. And that actually found a bottom there as well. So that's kind of interesting. Here's another one. Downtrend, five bars, one bar down, up that doesn't exceed the high, down that does exceed the low, and then an up bar. So I'm sure this is not going to work, uh, you know, consistently that well, but um, that's a nice little pattern that you can use um, to identify whole formations of candles, not just a single candlestick pattern, um, and find unique little arrangements like that. You can customize that in a lot of different ways, and you know, if you uh, want to add a moving average or something and only take uh, certain formations if they occur on top of the moving average or below the moving average or that kind of thing. Uh, you can you know set up a whole trading system based on that. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you. So if you double click on this you can change it to down arrow at high for like a short signal. Um, so that gives you the down arrow at the high instead of the low. So if, if this were a, a bearish candlestick pattern, then you could uh, change that around to that. You can change it to a point if it's just kind of a neutral pattern. Uh, that's something you just want to keep an eye on. Um, but I'm going to leave it at up arrow at low. Um, but I wanted to show you, if we go back here into edit, uh, you can adjust, you know, of course, the downtrend or uptrend bars. And the cool thing about this is that now you can actually go up here to share and type in a name, you know, uh, bullish double bottom or something like that, uh, and then share this link and uh, share it with all your, you know, trading buddies or whatever. And, um, uh, you know, and also, that will, uh, you know, let you put it into your, say, your paper trading side uh, or anything like that. So you can share it with yourself even or just put it on a different system. The other thing I want to note is, so it's generated all this ThinkScript for us automatically in the background. And you can actually take this and copy it and put it into your own indicator. If you know how to program in ThinkScript, you can select and copy all of this and then go back into studies and create an uh, indicator here, paste this in, and you can re, uh, kind of recycle this code to, uh, to create your own you know, strategy or even a, a whole indicator. If you only want it to give signals uh, when it's also on top of a moving average, you can add that as a condition here so it only plot an arrow if um, it 
recognizes this particular candlestick pattern and it's on top of the moving average or something like that. Or if you have you know, an RSI condition or some other type of indicator you want to reference before it gives a signal, you can uh, take this code here, make sure that's true, and also say, in addition, I want it, uh, another condition to be true and, and add that condition and then you have a really powerful trading system set up here. So I really love this feature in Thinkorswim. And uh, I was really surprised when I actually saw this. I was like, wow, that, I mean, kudos to Thinkorswim for coming up with that. And uh, so I wanted to share, uh, share that feature with you in case uh, you weren't aware of it. Anyway, if uh, you find these videos useful and helpful, uh, please hit subscribe and like below. And uh, leave us any comments or questions you have. You can also email us on the website at thinkorswim.net. And we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>